remember. Whoa, it's a great time here at Messina Hop Winery. And welcome to the Culinary View for our monthly uh, discussion about an ingredient. And this month we're going to be talking about spinach. And we have some great ideas for how to use spinach for the holidays when you're entertaining, just for hors d'oeuvres, um, or just like a nice side condiment on a plate. But well, we hope that you will have a wonderful holiday enjoying food and wine. And Messina Hoff wine yes. will make your holiday <laughs> bright. So the spinach that we're featuring today, um, we made a pinwheel. Actually, this is Chef Zeke's um, recipe, and it is so easy to follow. You'll find it online. But you use the phyllo dough. And where and online? Spinach. Where is it online? Oh, it's under... Um, M-E-R-B-O-N.com, Merbon.com. And it's also under the Vineyard District. And we at want them to subscribe, right? Yes. Subscribe. They need to join our, our subscription. Yes. And and learn all of these wonderful things. If you follow Merbon um, on Facebook, then these are all posted there as well. So you'll see them as they come up each month. And this one is um, it's a it's a cheese and spinach stuffed pinwheel which is is beautiful to look at but i uh, have twisted it just a little bit and i've added some harissa that i made from mm -hmm. extra excess peppers that we have love that off of our garden so it not only gives a bit of a red white and green look for our italian heritage but also it gives a little bit of spice a little bit more flavor weight to it that makes it kind of interesting for wine pairing so the wines that we've selected is our Trebbiano, mm -hmm. the most famous white grape of Italy, which grows absolutely fantastically on the high plains of Texas. And we make a fantastic Trebbiano. You know, Trebbiano has a nice creamy mm -hmm. under uh, uh, tone, but a wonderful crisp uh, flavor up front. And, and, and so it really cleans the palate. And it's got such a great aroma. You know, when the grape is ripe, it has a golden color. So the wines have a golden color to them. Uh, unlike many white wines that when you make them, they they make purely white uh, uh, liquid. But this has a golden color and it's really wonderful. It's got that, that creaminess on the end, which makes it really mm. easy to pair with most foods. And it also makes it easy to pair with something with a little heat to it. And that's why I added the harissa into the pinwheel. I think the creaminess actually is the thing that really helps with that little bit of spice. It does. It does. It kind of cools the spice in the mouth, but it blends everything together so well. And we're, we're talking about two white wines again today that are very easy to drink. They are light bodied, even though they have some fat to them on the end because they're perfect for entertaining when you have a mixed audience. And so whoever is there can enjoy this particular wine or these particular wines with whatever you're serving. And speaking of crisp, <laughs> Chenin Blanc is lovely in that regards because it has that, that rose petal uh, aroma mm -hmm. and, and it's such a nice, clean, fresh flavor. And we love it. We love Chenin Blanc. And it's from the Leopard Vineyard in Brownfield, Texas. Look at the color on that thing. It's pure white. It looks like Snow White, actually. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it's a relationship that we have with the Leopard family that goes way back and way forward into the future with the, uh, with the way Paul and, and the Leopard family uh, have, have uh, contracted way into the future. So we look forward to doing the Leopard Chenin Blanc for many, many years. And the nice thing about um, food and wine pairing is that we always suggest that you choose your wine first. So whatever your wine is, you want to taste that as you're preparing your dishes. And the nice thing about this recipe that you'll find online um, is that you can add ingredients to it that will better suit your palate or make the pairing to whatever wine you have chosen be even better. That's a customization. It is. Whoa. Personalization. <laughs> yes. You know, if you like a certain spice, you could add it. Exactly. And then you can enjoy uh, different types of wine along mm -hmm. with it. 
It's fantastic. Yes. So from our family to yours, we pray that you will have a wonderful holiday season and that you'll have much love and joy to share in both food, wine, family, and fellowship. Absolutely. Ho, ho, ho to all of you, and God bless you all on this holiday season. God bless. So long. Thank you.